Hello, today I'm outside because I want to work on some cartwheels with you today and I needed more room than what I've got in my living room. So let's start with a little bit of a warm-up and then we're going to do lots of fun kinds of cartwheels today. So go ahead and circle your arms around, put your feet together and circle your arms around the other way and arms out to the sides and up and down and one up and one arm down good and then feet apart reach your arms up really tall and reach down to the ground and come on out and put your feet in a little bit closer nice tall stretch and reach down to the ground and feet together Reach up tall and then down to the ground, working on again, getting your hands flat. Good, and go ahead and stand up. And now put one foot in front of you, keep both of your legs straight, and I want you to try to reach down to the ground to that leg and work on putting your hands flat next to your front foot. And hold it five more seconds and five, four, three, two, one, and come on up and put your other foot in front, both legs straight, and reach down and try to get your hands flat next to that foot. And holding five, four, three, two, and one. And come on up. And let's do our middle splits because for cartwheels that's really, really important to have that flexibility. So put your hands down on the ground and slide those legs out to the side and let's hold for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 and check that you really have your hips in line with your legs. You might need to lean forward a little bit. Lots of you guys usually need to do that. And five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, point your toes really hard and one. Come out. Good. All right. So, we're going to actually just do a couple standing stretches still. Lift your knee up to your um, tummy and pull your knee into your chest. This is a good stretch and balance at the same time. And try the other side, knee up to your chest. And pull your knee and hug it in really, really nice and strong. Good, and we should stretch out our wrists too. So just circle your wrists around a little bit. And circle them around the other way. And put your hands together. And down and up with your hands. And put the backs of your hands together and circle your wrists around. Good, and give your arms a little bit of a shake out. And I'd say we're probably stretched out enough to do some cartwheels. So let's start with some normal cartwheels. And by normal, I mean starting facing forward and finishing in a lunge. So nice big stretch up tall. Point feet together before you get started, just so your hips and your um, shoulders and your toes are all straight forward. Then point your toe and cartwheel to a lunge and check that you're nice and straight after that. Good. And let's try that again. So stretching up nice and tall, straight body, point your toe and lunge, cartwheel and lunge. And now let's try some side cartwheels. So I'm going to start on this side so I can face you because that's my good side. Arms out to the sides, point your toe and lunge, cartwheel, and up to a nice star position. And then if you're gonna go backwards, I'll go, if you're gonna go back, you're gonna have to turn around so you're on your good side, and point your toe, and bend your knee, cartwheel, and star position. Good, so now what I actually wanna work with you on is some one-arm cartwheels, and some cartwheels to, from a run. So, First of all, before we do our one-arm cartwheel, we're going to be doing your cartwheel on your good leg, but we're going to be swapping arms. So first you're going to do a cartwheel using the arm that's closest to your first foot. So the arm that you would normally put down first, you're going to put that one down and then not your second arm, and then we'll swap. So I still want you to start with your arms up and your toe pointed, and then lunge, put one arm down, lift the other arm up and then cartwheel to your lunge. And then let's try that again, but this time 
using, well actually let's do one more time with that close arm. So nice stretch up tall, point your toe, and lunge, normal first hand down, lift your other arm up, and then back to your lunge position. All right, now what we're going to do is use your other arm, so it's still your good leg, but you're gonna miss your first arm and put your second arm down, and make sure you put your second arm down softly so you don't hurt your wrist. So both arms up, lunge, miss your first arm, second arm down, and lunge on the other side. So let's try that again, because that's usually a little bit trickier for people. And I'll go at a little bit of a faster pace for my cartwheel, because I got a bit stuck in the middle there. So point your toe, lunge, miss your first arm, cartwheel over, and then you're in your lunge on the second side. Let's try that one more time. So point your toe, lunge, second arm down only, and back to your lunge on your other side. So hopefully you had fun trying that other arm because I don't think that we've done that together before. Um, and then now I want to work with you on a running cartwheel. So we're going to start with our toe pointed to our knee to start with because that's actually the position that I want you in when you do a little hop before you do your cartwheel. So let's just start with your toe. We'll start with your feet together first of all. Then point your toe to your knee of the, car the leg that you usually do your cartwheel on and from there Straighten out your leg, lunge, and cartwheel. And then, do that one more time. Feet together, toe pointed to your knee, and then straighten it out, lunge, and cartwheel. Great, now, what I'd like you to do is add a little bit of a hop, and then we'll add the whole run. So, toe pointed to your knee, bend your knee, hop, and then do the cartwheel. And let's do that again so that you can practice what that feels like. So feet together, arms up stretch, point your toe to your knee, bend, hop, and cartwheel. All right, now I'm going to move a little bit further away so that hopefully you can see what, looks, what it looks like when I do my cartwheel from a little bit further. Um, well, so that you can see me when I do my run and my cartwheel. So I'm just gonna step back a little bit so that you can see that happening. Hopefully I'll get the camera angle right. I'm gonna scoot back. So hopefully you were able to see that. I'll go and try it again. Hopefully again, as I said, I've got the camera angle right so you can actually see what I was doing. And hopefully what you saw was that I was trying to lift my toe up to my knee, run, do a little bit of a hop, and then the cartwheel. So on a nice warm afternoon, I'd say get outside and give it a go. You might not have enough room in your living room to add the run and the hurdle or that little hop into your cartwheel. Anyway, enjoy all of your practicing and I will see you soon.